Hello, hello, welcome to Wrenching Irons. Today we are actually gonna get to the iron, the new project. So finally I'm gonna do some work on it and uh, see how I can fix it up. And I have a little checklist what I wanna do, what I'm missing. So um, we're gonna get to that. So to do today, we have a flasher relay for the indicators. We have a head visor, soldering uh, lights, um, I have welded up the hole inside here, so I'm gonna mark it up, drill the hole to fit these lights, so it's gonna be an indicator and high beam. And then it goes back in here, I have to wire some cables to go back into the headlight, I have to put the brake switch in there, I have to put a new brake switch in here, chain is going this way, and it can pop the link out, so we should have it the other way around a little bit better and then I need to put a um, little hole in here so I can put a clip in and um, then we are getting somewhere <laughs> I don't know where but somewhere Ready. holes are drilled and then a little light fittings Pop in there. Number two. There you go. Let's look semi decent. Quite happy with that. And that can go um, back on the back too. That's all right. I'm happy. We have our little eyelid visor soldered, lights are in, that's going to be for indicators, that's going to be for the high beam, uh, because it's a legal requirement here in New Zealand, so I better do it, and uh, yeah, time to put it back on the bike. update still a mission I put a uh, the switch in here um, this is still a mess indicator still don't work but we have a new brake switch for the front brake I have installed a new brake switch for the rear brake and I have rebled the system uh, there is some kind of short something's going off as soon as I turn the bike off, I just hear some saw noise going Pitch! So something's going off and I know that uh, something in here is dodgy because uh, when I turn a light on it doesn't really, the rear brake only works on occasion. So um, yeah, I don't know, but the little LEDs, little snake eyes looks alright. On my welded, there is still a little pit from my welding but it looks pretty fine for now better than it was before so still a few things to tie up oh I better do the chain clip before I forget all right so we are doing some uh, 
continuity testing. I have tested my um, brake light uh, on the switches here and if I pair it up with the wire the brake light comes on so these little buggers are fine. Then I'm testing the switch. At the moment the switch is connected and there is no beeping so there is no power going right through it but if I compress the lever you can hear the beeps so it opens up the circuit which means the switch is working so uh, there is something when I put it together where uh, the whole system just not works so um, I have to be careful how I plug these little itty bitty wires in there and uh, maybe give them a spray with some contact cleaner and hopefully I can assemble it and it'll work fingers crossed all right let's try this watch the light if it blinks give me a yell yes is it working yes yes oh it does thank you Good job guys, thank you for helping, always appreciate it. Okay, let's try it again. Front brake, rear brake. Beauty. Well, if you ever thought that the electricity on the motorbikes is super easy to do, then maybe so, if you start from the scratch and you know exactly what you're doing and uh, what's going where and how when i was wiring these two bikes i used a uh, thing called uh, moto gadget a little unit there and i did all the wiring and it was pretty straightforward but when you get an old bike with existing wiring and you have a freaking jambalaya of wires then um that sucks this is the best so far i got to Turn the key on, and I got a right flashing light, and I can't turn it off. <laughs> well, at least it flashes, but uh, you can't go right forever, can you? You off, you sometimes will have to change direction. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to do right now. In the meantime, take I'm taking some uh, break from the electricity, and uh, I have. Uh, adjusted the float so it doesn't drip petrol all the time and um, just start give it a start and um, if the electricity will change uh, with the um, power going through because the light is not front light not working either when I turn the key on and sometimes these things just start up with that bike running so I thought I'll give her a go and uh, see what happens Well, that didn't help. We have uh, no front light and no rear light. And um, I have no idea why. What do you think? Well, that is for now. I don't know uh, what to do right now. Uh, indicators work only if I keep holding uh, the button. It, um, as soon as I turn the button off, the, they not go, but at least they're blinking. Uh, brakes, brake light works, but I don't know why my um, front light and rear light is not working. Uh, I hear a click when I turn the key on. It, um, the brake light comes on, running light, and then after a little second, No. No. Oh, front light's going now too. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. Maybe it has something to do with um, 
strength of a battery so the relay keeps shorting out i don't know and puzzling very puzzling but that's it for today's episode that's my little shenanigans with the 79 harley sporty um thank you for watching and please comment any kind of suggestion and help what to check how to keep my indicator running until i turn it off i have no idea what to do with that and um if uh, why the uh, lights keep shutting off is it the battery problem um yeah just let me know in a comment please if you have any suggestions well if you last it to the end of the video thank you very much see ya